Neutrino wind from a supernova core deep inside a massive start in times the sun's mass nuclear fusion nears its end. For millions of years, it has fused hydrogen into helium, then heavier and heavier elements. Now, iron sits at the core. Iron cannot release energy through fusion. The star is out of fuel, and so it begins to collapse. The core implodes, reaching incredible densities in milliseconds. Protons and electrons are crushed into neutrons. The outer layers, unaware, continue falling inward until they hit the incompressible neutron core and rebound in a shockwave. But that shockwave stalls. The explosion fails until help arrives from the most elusive particles in the universe, neutrinos. Billions of times per second, neutrinos pass through your body without a trace. They barely interact with matter. But in a supernova, they are born in numbers so vast and in a few seconds that their combined effect is titanic. They pour out of the collapsing star like a wind of ghostly particles, most escape. But some just enough slam into the outer layers of the star, depositing their energy, reviving the shockwave, and igniting the final explosion. In that moment, the star dies and is reborn as a supernova. The neutrinos are gone in seconds. The light will take hours to reach the surface. And yet, neutrinos are the first signal. Earth's detectors like Super Kamio Kondame catch a few dozen in real time, a whisper of warning before the blaze. And then, the outer layers burst outward. The core collapses into a neutron star, if massive enough, a black hole. The remnant will spin, pulse, or vanish. But the neutrinos? They are long gone, racing through space at nearly the speed of light. They were the breath of the star's death, carrying away 99% of its energy. Unseen, but essential. They are the messengers of catastrophe, telling the universe, a star has died, but in its death, something new begins.